nascent iodine is, is actually very delightful. It tastes good, and meaning you can get put it in babies' mouths with a little bit of water by young children. And having an iodine that you can actually give children <clears throat> is is a huge thing. Why? Because it takes the place of antibiotics. Instead of going for an antibiotic, you first thing you reach for when a child starts getting sick is the iodine, and you start giving very good, good strong dosages, and usually handles every, almost everything, any kind of infection, very quickly. That's exciting. Very, yeah, I, I mean, for my children, and as a parent, having an iodine instead of, I mean, antibiotic is exactly what it, it is what it's, the, the word is. It's against life. It's very hurtful, causes a lot of problems, um, including, including chronic diseases and cancer. I mean, you take antibiotics and it leads to yeast overgrowth and I mean, just... Iodine is something the body needs, very safe. Very There's whole effective. new tests on it, too. I heard from Dr. Abraham and Dr. Brownstein that there's totally new types of ways in which you can tell how much the body is retaining. They actually read studies of women in Japan that were tested who had very low amounts of breast cancer and realized there was a correlation between their iodine levels and let's say our iodine levels were very different. And that just the breasts alone take 12.5 milligrams from the body if they don't get it. And so the deficiency is so huge in iodine that the levels that we need are off the charts compared to what we were told, that our food doesn't contain it anymore like it used to, our salt doesn't contain it. And so I think it's great to have an additional product for kids and for being sick. And I never thought of it as a replacement for antibiotics, but it sounds wonderful. What have you trialed it on? Well, I, as I say, personally, I use it on all my children. I use it myself. I recommend it to everybody. Um, any kind of infectious type things. I, I have a, a, fr uh, a person I know in Africa, a uh, Missionary, he uses it for malaria. Um, of course, it'll be work when you have uh, antibiotic resistance strains of bacteria where where antibiotic will not work anymore. Also, iodine is effective against viruses. That's why when it comes to cold and influenza, it's effective. You know, iodine is a broad spectrum antipathogen. Antibiotic is antibiotic. It's just for bacteria. Doesn't work for viruses. Doesn't work for fungus, or mold, or uh, fungus, or uh, yeast. Iodine. If you put iodine, that's why they use it by the gallon in hospitals. You, uh, they use it topically, or uh, you know, they put it on top of things, on the skin or whatever, and it, or on tables or washing things. It kills everything in like ninety seconds. I love yeah. it. I love it. Viruses, bacteria. So it's, and the body needs it anyway, and the breast, yes, the breasts, the ovaries, prostate gland, these are the glands, the thyroid concentrate iodine. So when we don't have iodine sufficient, sufficiency, these particular organs become more vulnerable to cancer. So for, for every reason, which the government's recognized internationally 50 years ago, you need more iodine. They put it in the salt. <laughs> but they put very little, and they don't tell anybody that if you put it on the table, it evaporates out. Iodine from salt is, is good for nothing. As we close this interview, I'd like to ask you how you came up with the name the International Medical Veritas Association. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to give you well, something for memory, doctor. <laughs> You got to remember anytime. why you named your organization what you did. Now, what can I give you? Well, actually, <laughs> actually, I do remember. I mean, the word veritas is Latin for truth. And my, when I came on the Internet about uh, 10, 12 years ago, I realized that everything you say on the Internet, everything you type, every email can be recorded meaning you're accountable for everything you say. 
So I said, well, okay, that's the case. I might as well pretend or imagine that everything I say on the Internet better be true. Like if I, could, if I was saying it before God, I was talking to God, who sees everything. Well, if the Internet, everything is visible, it's like talking to God. So I became, okay, my commitment is to always speak the truth, <clears throat> to research for the truth, to believe in the truth, and to write about it. And so when I created the organization, I built it <clears throat> around that word, Veritas. I love it. At the same time, we created a, a, a medical journal for vaccines, which was called Medical Veritas, which was about vaccines. A lot of people don't believe in truth anymore, but it exists. The truth does exist. They say the truth sets one free, and I believe in it. And, um, and that's actually, I believe, why everything I've done has been successful. I feel the, my success in uh, these last few years in creating this organization and getting people actually around the world to pay attention to using these substances, that it's, it was a divine inspiration, me finding the real truth of, that, of these basic substances, so sodium bicarbonate, and iodine, magnesium chloride, the sun, that I really came because of my commitment to truth. Dr. Mark Circus, I really want to thank you for making time available today to share with the public your findings and contributions and sharing your passion and care for people. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been listening to, learning from, and talking with Dr. Mark Circus, the director of the International Medical Veritas Association out of Brazil. And Mark, I hope that you will come back, and we really appreciate it. And you can reach Dr. Circus at imva.info. I want to thank you again for being with us. It's rainmaking time, sir. Thank you for having me.